Hey you, you watching this? Uh, thank you for watching. Actually, if you could drop a like and a subscription, you can unsubscribe at any point. But I, you know, what I'm saying I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a living out here. I'm trying to grow. So you know, what I'm saying like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments. Let me know if I'm doing good, bad. If you hate me, it's all appreciated. I did not go anywhere. We are just recording again right back to it now so what is oh i played the uh voicemail i have to play it again because i'm a loser and i don't have enough subscribers so people might just click on this video first i need to talk to you about last week i just come to my locker room when you get to the arena all right We are in beautiful Louisville, Kentucky for SmackDown. Michael Cole here with Jerry the King Lawler. It was just like old times with Edge and Christian reuniting last week, and they'll team up again tonight. They're taking on yet another epic tag team. It should make for an unparalleled main event. I, I just need to see uh, who was the commentary team on Friday Night SmackDown. Uh, because this is unacceptable. You flipping twit. Okay, so in who's my commentary team? <laughs> Does it say? Oh, list of SmackDown on their personalities. All right. So, in 2010. Nope, that is GM. Oh, here we go. This, this is the commentary team. So, this commentary team should have been Todd Gresham, Michael Cole, or Todd Gresham, Matt Stryker, or all three of them, or Josh Matthews. But instead, I got to listen to Jerry the Lawler. Oh, ow. I'm sick of this dude, man. I see him on Monday nights enough. Oh, Jesus. Is that who we got to fight next? Damn. You too. One more time. I got to fight both of them? Oh, no. Uh-uh. Nope. Mm -mm. Ain't happening. Dude, we totally fooled the player into thinking we weren't going to reunite. I know, we totally... Wait a minute. Player? What player? You see that weirdo staring at us through the TV? No, but I'll take your word for it. Let's go through the checklist. Big sunglasses? Check. Polished white teeth for the benefit of those with flash photography? Check. Totally lame opponents that are gonna get their butts kicked tonight? The dead guy and his burnt red brother? Check. I think that does it. Not just yet. I added something to the checklist. Kazoos! Dude, how could we have forgotten the zoo? Kazoos rule! I know. Now hit it. Undertaker's dead. He is really, really dead. Bong. His partner is red. They're having too much fun with it. But the audio dipped a lot. I don't know what it was. The audio just dipped. Like, I had to turn it up on my. Yeah, no, that was too loud. I had to turn it up to hear them. The Undertaker's dead. That part is going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the night. God damn it. Is anybody in here? There's never nobody in here. We got 60, 70 some people on the roster, and there's nobody in the way, in the, in the locker room. Is it? Shad Gaspard. Rest in peace, yo. What the hell are you doing over there? Uh, 
let me the training room damage resistance we're gonna continue through the damage resistance because boy i'll be getting whooped okay um player you in here player yes you are Kristen, good to see you, player. Player. Especially since you and Edge are back together. That means big things for you two, and big things for SmackDown. I'm glad you feel that way, Teddy. Just don't get carried away and have a reunion of your own bringing back one of those winners you used to manage in WCW. Like that crazy guy or the, the little Richard impersonator. Really? That was nice. Let's let let's be nice. Let's be nice. I mean, you're not wrong. But you didn't have to say it. No promo. Finally, something over here. Talk to me. Yo, 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 yo! What's happening, Eve? What's going on, guys? Yo, did you check those poses, Truth and Consequence, lately? Their stock is plummeting, and all I can say is it's time for us to get championized. You know it. Guys, you be you, and I'm going to do my thing against Michelle later tonight. I, Notorious EVE, don't go too hard enough. Dang, it was a great group. Golly. It just fit, like, the 2007-2008 vibe. I hate that they broke them up. We got too deep. Wait. Good time out. She just said, uh... Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. That's, okay. I thought it was about to say, we got two Divas matches on Friday Night Smackdown? What in the world? <laughs> this is unheard of. <laughs> this is when, uh, these, uh, this was the Divas division, not the women's division. Divas, they had the giant butterfly belt. is scheduled for one fall introducing first at a combined weight of 628 pounds the brothers of destruction undertaker and kane i'm actually curious I, I, i've never seen this intro It's Kane! It's Kane! I mean, he ripped the door right off the cell. I'm saying I remember like I watched it. I just seen the cutscenes and the matches and whatnot. He ripped the door right off the cell. Why are you booing us? And their opponents at a combined weight of 464 pounds, Christian and the rated R superstar. No, no, no. This 
may be the biggest tag team match I can ever remember on SmackDown. No, the it's not. Brothers of Destruction versus Edge and Christian? Talk about a dream match. Michael Cole, you literally commentated DX, which had Road Dog, Jesse James, track. the Road Dog, Jesse James, Billy Gunn, and then X Pac, and then uh, Triple H versus Shane McMahon, uh, Kane, Stone Cold, and The Rock on just some regular Friday night. Are you ever talking about this might be the biggest? Kane with a devastating counter. Get off my, my apron. With my peeps. With my peeps. With my peeps. They still have the hot tag feature. Oh, look at this. I wasn't ready for that. And did you hear the impact on that kick? And he's caught. I can't do nothing. Why would you do that now? Oh, look out! Christian sends him out. Look out! What a kick. Finish, Christian. Switch. Kill switch. Kill switch. Things are going so well for Edge and Christian that they just might pose. How many seconds do they do that for again? He's left the ring. Five. This could get interesting. I'm not getting the ring. Go ahead, Kane. Christian's playing some mind games now. Oh, just driving his hands into the throat. One, two. What Come fiendish here, things are going through that demented mind now. He's in bad shape. He's got to make the tag. Into the cover, hooks the leg. One. He's seen it up. Here he comes. I'm about to say, he just no-sold my move. And he finally gets out of the ring. Christian controlling the arm. Oh, that doesn't work. That's not a thing anymore. Oh Damn, man, the first. Fired him in there. Oh, what was that? And now he's back out on the apron. Oh, just awesome tag team here? maneuvers, man. Ooh. The referee getting involved now, and he and here's a cover. And he stops the count. And now he's back out on the apron. Kane controlling the head. I like how in this game, the when the computer runs him. into the this ring, to the skull king. One has to be thinking about the possibility. It's not just the they leg. run there and stand there. One, and he finally gets out of the ring. Oh, look. Edge wins. Didn't need no Edge signature. Got it. These two really do reek of awesomeness. They've beaten the Brothers of Destruction. Joking or not, these two are for real. The other superstars on SmackDown should take notice. Both of them were champions before this reunion. There's no telling how far they could go as a unit. What will Edge and Christian do next? Will SmackDown ever be the same? It's funny that SmackDown is 2010. Y'all be alright. Where are we going? Chicago Yeah Oh training points Yes It's crazy to think that that is, is what's exciting I'll be getting whooped Welcome to the Windy City I'm Michael Cole along with Jerry the King Lawler And you're watching Smackdown Edge and Christian have taken SmackDown by storm. But SmackDown general manager Theodore Long keeps putting dynamite opposition in front of them. Tonight, they face their toughest challenge yet. They just had me face The Undertaker and Kane, and he about to say their toughest challenge yet. Michael Cole, what are you doing? Santino Morella, he about to put this magazine in his ass. Scramola, punk. And he about to pull it back up. Fuck your magazine, nigga. <clears throat> Mr. Ziggles, I will deal with you in due time. 
I think I know where this is about to go. So let me... I know what I got to do. Hold on. We're going to go this way first. I think I know where this is about to go. Because I've seen this part. Johnny Drip Drip. He's supposed to be my teammate. Nowhere to be found. Get lost, Dillweed. 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 Leave my my arena. I I think I know what it's about to do. So I'm defending my world heavyweight championship against Chris Jericho at Elimination Chamber. I know. And I'm taking him on tonight. I think you'll do a great job. But I got nothing going on tonight. Why don't I come to the ring with you? I can totally be your manager. That would be awesome. Will you wear rubber bands in your face? Often imitated, never duplicated. And will you, uh, will you shout motivational slogans through a megaphone? Not happening. Dude. Okay. Will you throw ceremonial salt in Jericho's face? Sorry. I left my ceremonial salt in my other pants. Well, what can you do? As the manager, I declare today Crazy Hat Friday. Works for me. Let's do this. They was just poking fun at, uh, what's his face? Uh, the Spirit Squad, uh, Mr. Fuji, and, uh, as Pulse would say, uh, Mr. Fuji's crack. Um, I didn't realize in that stu- What's up, bro? Hey, yo, man. I don't want no part of this, man. You need to back off me right now. No parts of what? I just asked you how you was doing. Damn. But uh, they they really made fun of the spirit squad. I am I didn't think I would see that. Oh, nope. nothing. Where are we going? just you their toughest challenge yet we just beat the undertaker and Kane and you talking about my toughest challenge yet Michael Cole if you don't get out of here yeah, this is gonna be my last match for the video oh hey buddy TM sucks so things haven't been going your way lately huh punk how does a straight edge guy like you drown your sorrows with a glass of milk? I could retire tomorrow and I'd have more singles accolades than you've ever had, Christian. If you're worried about my morale, then cheer me up by letting me smack the nose off your face at Superstars. Sure. I have no problem handing a teetotaler like you another loss. Okay. I don't know about that one, CM Punk. I think Christian's Christian. Christian is pretty accomplished. Cause he did he did have an unbeaten streak on TNA that was just ungodly talk to me player oh wow he's not back here I'm shocked let's, let's just be random matches on superstars we'll have an inferno match on superstars Michelle more cool they didn't give you any lines. Sorry, Michelle. Melina versus Yoshi Tatsu. Shit. So crime time. Oh, no, 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 my eyes guessing. Ziggler and Michelle versus Morrison with Eve. Uh, Fit Finley versus that should be a good one. Two very different styles. Jerry Show. <laughs> So I got this, and then I got the singles match, and I'm done. This is Jerry's show. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Accompanied by the Big Show. Introducing first, 
Weighing in at 226 pounds, Chris Jericho. I'm a big Jericho-holic. I already seen this intro twice. I'm a big Jericho holic. Jericho, oh, the boy. top contender for Edge's World Heavyweight Championship, is taking on Edge's newly reunited partner, Christian. This should be one heck of a main event. There's no variety oh, in this mama. game when it comes to moves. What's he up to here? Why did you get out the ring? Christian, My peeps. Let the peeps hear it. He's reeling. And that punch lands hard. Christian squeezing down on the head. Jericho's oh, wow. in trouble. No. Christian with the arm. He's got him. I just need to be patient. Instead of just doing the move right away. I'm so used to doing the move right away. Oh, smack down versus Seven. Ooh. Oh. Another stiff kick. He's taking out the trash. Jericho, collar and elbow tie-up. Jericho's in trouble. I'm not really sure the significance of Edge. Look at him, Murphy isn't counting. Okay, there's no ring, there's no, no counter. Well, aside from comic relief with that cowboy hat, he's probably scouting his elimination oh, it was, chamber. Oh, it was hats. Oh, I'm tripping. Jericho so adept at thinking three steps ahead can turn defense into offense in a moment's notice. I forgot it was Crazy Hat Friday and I didn't even see the hat. Oh, I'm an idiot. What a haymaker! A huge right dude, We are dodging and everything, dude. Again. He rolled the dice. And did it pay off or what? What's Jericho got to do to win at this point? I mean, this guy's agile and intelligent. If his opponent makes a mistake, you can almost guarantee he'll Ooh. Out a way to capitalize on it. Get in the ring. Diamond mine. Woo, a little showboating going on here. I'm looking for my peeps. Christian Excuse me, Mr. Ref. Out. And Christian scores with a kick out of nowhere. Kill switch engage. Switch. Sorry, Jericho. I got a hinge. His shoulders are down. Where did Big Show come from? Apparently, Jericho needed the help after all. I oh. think this was the plan for I was about the start. to say. He just smacked the back of his head. Get closer, please. Mr. Ref, now is not the time. A back body drop from Christian on a big show. Did not expect to see that. to get in here and stop this. I don't know if anyone is that brave. Oh, God. All the way to the floor. This bad luck hasn't ended yet. Oh, my goodness. That may have taken out both men. Meanwhile, Big Show and Edge are still battling. Does Edge think he can get Big Show up? This doesn't look good. Christian makes the save. 
Hit him again. They're taking the Dick Kick City. Now Edge has a chair. Do it again. A wicked concerto by the originators. Edge and Christian are standing tall on SmackDown. Copyright. The best of Chris Jericho tonight. Will the World Heavyweight Champion reign supreme at Elimination Chamber? Copyright. 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 All right, so we're going to do this Superstars match, and we're going to end the video. See him sucks. Thought he could talk to me. He kind of went. <laughs> Link Cole in Nebraska. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Introducing first, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 220 pounds, C. N. Pump. A collaborator. And his opponent, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 227 pounds, Christian. Extreme rules match. I'm getting weapons. I reversed it. Dangerous impact to the neck. Oh man, that neck's got to be hurt after that. He just, bro. Hold on, where's he going? Again, this is a no disqualification Need match. Chair. Anything goes. Grab, well, grab I your think item. That's about to be put to the test here. A table. He's picked up a table. Oh shoot. Set it up then. Set up your table. You're not gonna hit me with the table, bro. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. Oh wicked shot to the arm. That's not what I thought would happen. And again he exits the ring. Uh-oh. Destruction is definitely on his mind again. Come on. Let me hit you with this mean concerto. Oh, no. Nope. Let me take it. Oh, shoot. I'm trying to watch NXT at the same time. Not another chair shot. Oh, no. He's, he's going to try and end his career. Oh, that's it. That is it. His ankle's got to be shattered. Nah, he be at. Oh, snap. Put the chair down. The oh, on oh, God. Right onto the chair. Oh. Good move. Get in the ring. Oh, no. Those steps have to weigh over 200 pounds. <gasps> Man, I heard, uh, so I was watching. Oh my god, that should have ended horribly. So I was watching, I was on Twitter one day. And I saw, uh, what's her face? Raquel Gonzalez. He says something, uh, like, I feel proud to be like, what should Punk's strategy uh, be at this point, King? Well, to be we know about his like striking. It's one of the first women, whatever, a uh, like Latina women champions, oh, or some, some, some nuts, some nuts stuff. Abdomen. But basically, she wasn't the first, and so I was just confused because I don't think there's anybody walking around here saying uh, Raquel Gonzalez or you think of Hispanic Americans and uh, wrestling. There's not that many people. Okay, whatever. Hooking the leg. Talk about her. Two, two. You know, and here's that's a just kick not. Out uh, that's just not what it is. 
So, Christian sends him out. in Look reality, out. when you think about it, in wrestling, there's been a lot of Latina, Latino people that have won championships uh, plenty of times, way before. And I was just like, you know, why would you take this from me? Now you about to run. Get up, Christian. Get up. Get up. And you lost it. This idiot. Now you delaying. What a fierce kick. This could do it. One, one, two, two, three, three. But yeah, she said some like real goofy three. stuff about being like a Latino. Something, something about being Latino. Boy, I was like, nah. Here's your I don't know how many people are like Christian. clamoring to see you as a champion anyway. So what you just said was like real out of pocket. Because you disrespected a lot of people. Like Ray, the GOAT, Eddie. Uh, AJ Styles, Bailey, you do disrespect a lot of Latino, Latina champions in the past with this one goofy comment. So maybe sometimes it's best to just keep your thoughts to yourself if you have no idea what you're talking about. It's an elimination chamber, but we ain't gonna do that right now because I I have to, I have a life outside of this and I have to get to it. Vince make my hunt. I'm losing less and I'm getting less and less training points. Forget you, Vince. Uh. So yeah, let me. No, I didn't mean to do it. Um. So yeah, let's save. We at the elimination chamber, baby. I will see you. Let me make sure I recorded this. Yep, we got the audio. I will see you in the next one, whatever that is. Please like if you watched all the way through. I appreciate you. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. I love you. Bye.